नमस्ते टू एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माई यूट्यूब वीडियो चैनल टूडे आई विल डेली वार लेक्चर ऑन कैलकुलस ऑफ वेरिएशन लेक्चर नंबर नाइन इन विच आई विल डेराइव मैथमेटिकली ब्रेकिस्टो क्रोन प्रॉब्लम नाउ आई विल गिव यू द मैथमेटिकल प्रूफ ऑफ ब्रेकिस्टो क्रोन प्रॉब्लम लेट ओ एंड ए बी टू फिक्स पॉइंट एंड लेट ए पार्टिकल स्लाइड फ्रॉम रेस्ट अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ ग्रेविटी अलॉन्ग द कार्ब ओ पी ए सो दैट टाइम टेकन टू ट्रेवल फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ओ टू ए इज मिनिमम लेट डी एस बी एन एलिमेंट्री सेक्शन ऑफ द कार्ब एट पी कोऑर्डिनेट ऑफ पी बी पी एक्स वाई लेट द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द पार्टिकल एट पी बी भी देर फॉर टाइम टेकन टू ट्रेवल द पार्टिकल ऑफ लेंथ डी एस विल बी डी टी इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस बाय वेलोसिटी भी लेट दिस इज नंबर वन देर फॉर टोटल टाइम ऑफ ट्रेवल फ्रॉम ओ टू ए विल बी इंट्रेगेशन डी टी ओ टू ए इंट्रेगेशन डी एस बाई भी ओ टू ए लेट दिस इज कैपिटल टी इंट्रेगेशन ओ टू ए डी एस बाई भी लेट दिस इज नंबर टू सिंस डी एस स्क्वेयर इक्वल टू डी एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस डी वाई स्क्वेयर इंप्लाइज दैट डी एस बाई डी एक्स होल स्क्वेयर डिवाइडिंग बोथ साइड बाई डी एक्स स्क्वेयर दिस इज वन प्लस डी वाई बाई डी एक्स होल स्क्वेयर इंप्लाइज दैट डी एस बाई डी एक्स होल स्क्वेयर इक्वल टू वन प्लस डी वाई बाई डी एक्स इज वाई प्राइम स्क्वेयर इंप्लाइज दैट डी एस बाई डी एक्स इक्वल टू स्क्वेयर रूट वन प्लस वाई प्राइम स्क्वेयर इंप्लाइज दैट डी एस इक्वल टू स्क्वेयर रूट वन प्लस वाई प्राइम स्क्वेयर डी एक्स लेट दिस इज नंबर थ्री सिंस At the point P, the vertical distance traveled by the particle equal to x, because this point is x y. so this is the vertical distance this is the x therefore work done by the gravity
on the particle to travel the vertical distance x equal to mg force multiply displacement x this is number 4 therefore reduction in potential energy will be this work done mg x let this is number 5 since v equal to velocity of the particle at P therefore kinetic energy at P equal to half mv square since by conservation of energy principle we know that the reduction in potential energy equal to kinetic energy therefore mgx this is the reduction in potential energy kinetic energy is half m v square this is number 6 and this is number 7 implies that m m cancel v equal to square root 2 g x equal to square root 2 g square root x this is number 8 using Theory and eight into we get T equal to integration O to A DS is square root one plus Y prime square DX and by B is square root two G square root x this is equal to 1 by square root 2g integration limit 0 to a 0 means origin to a 1 by square root x this is 1 plus y prime square square root dx this is number 9 for t to be minimum integration limit o to a square root 1 plus y prime square by square root x dx let this is i will be minimum Let this is 10. Therefore, I equal to integration O to A limit F. Here we see variables x, y prime, x, y prime, dx, where F, x, y prime equal to square root 1 plus y prime square by square root x this is 10 this is 11 for 
i to be minimum we use the Euler Lagrange theorem that is partial derivative of f with respect to y minus d by dx partial derivative of f with respect to y prime equal to 0 let this is number 12 since f does not contain y explicitly therefore partial derivative of f with respect to y equal to 0 this is number 13 using 13 in 12 we get minus d by dx partial derivative of f with respect to y prime equal to 0 by integrating we get partial derivative of f with respect to y prime equal to constant equal to c1 let this is number 14 implies that partial derivative with respect to y prime f is square root 1 plus y prime square by square root x and this is equal to c1 implies that 1 by square root x because we are differentiating partially with respect to y prime so this will be dictated as constant so we take this outside multiply partial derivative of this is 1 by 2 square root 1 plus y prime square multiply 2 y prime equal to c1 imply that 2 to cancel y prime by square root x under root 1 plus y prime square equal to c1 let this is number 15 let pt be the tangent at the point p to the car and pt max angle psi with x axis therefore dy by dx at the point p equal to tan psi implies that y prime equal to tan psi this is number 16 using 16 in 15 we get here y prime is tan psi by square root x square root 1 plus 10 square psi equal to c1 implies that 10 psi means sine psi by cos psi here square root x 
and square root 1 plus 10 square psi is sec square psi. This equal to C1 implies that sin psi by square root x cos psi here sec psi equal to C1 implies that sin psi by square root x cos psi multiply 1 by cos psi equal to c1 implies that sin psi by square root x equal to c1 squaring both sides then we get 1 by c1 square sin square psi equal to x implies that let this is a a sin square psi equal to x where 1 by c1 square equal to a let this is number 17 differentiating both sides a multiplied 2 sin psi cos psi d psi equal to dx implies that dx equal to 2a sin psi cos psi d psi let this is number 18 from 16 dy by dx equal to 10 psi implies that dy equal to 10 psi dx this equal to this is sin psi by cos psi and dx equal to 2a sin psi cos psi d psi and this equal to 2a sin square psi d psi this equal to a 1 minus cos 2 psi 2 sin square psi equal to d psi integrating y equal to a psi minus sin 2 psi by 2 plus c2 constant let this is number 19 by putting initial value in 19 we get here initially y equal to 0 equal to a psi equal to 0 minus sin 2 into 0 by 2 a c2 implies that c2 equal to 0 putting this value in 19 we get y equal to a psi minus sin 2 psi by 2 plus 0 this is so this is number 20 from 17 and 20 we write in 17 x equal to a sin square psi that is a sin square psi means 1 minus cos 2 psi by 2 and here y equal to a psi minus sin 2 psi 
बाय टू लेट दिस इज ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी वन रिप्रेजेंट्स द इक्वेशन ऑफ एन इन्वर्टेड साइक्लॉइड with its base along y axis and cusp at the origin therefore we see that The carb is a cycloid, inverted cycloid whose base is along y-axis and cusp at the origin. We may follow the another process to solve this problem. From equation fifteen, we have y prime by square root x square root one plus y prime square equal to c one. Squaring both sides, we will get this. And we take c1 square left side, and then we take x y prime square left side, right side only x. Therefore, we take y prime square common. Here remains one by c1 square minus x equal to x. Then multiplying both sides by x, here we x. Here minus x square, here x square. Let one by c one square equal to two a. So here will be two a x minus x square. Left side only remains y prime square. And then taking square root both sides, this is y prime, this is x, and this is square root. Now. y prime means dy by dx left side remains dy right side dx and then integrating we get y equal to a cos inverse under bracket 1 minus x by a minus 2 a x minus x square to the power half plus c constant by taking initial condition that is x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 here 0 Here zero. Here remains only one. Cos inverse one is zero, and here x zero zero. So only remains c equal to zero. Therefore, putting c equal to zero in this equation, we get y equal to a cos inverse under bracket one minus x by a minus two a x minus x square to the power half. Which is an equation of an inverted cycloid with base along y-axis and cusp at the origin. Therefore, our curve, this curve, is a cycloid with specific property here. Thanks for watching my video. If you are satisfied with my presentation and contents. then please click on like button and do subscribe my youtube channel thank you